Hi, how's it in the name of Jesus Christ? How are you doing? It's your... Oh, goodness. When is this summer ending? Somebody please tell me. You know, CapCut is killing me. There is this one bit of sound, music, that it got rid of that was the best, best background music for me and now I'm just having such a hard time finding background music. Like, why did you have to do that? Ugh. What did I ever do to deserve all that? Anyway, so if my background music keeps changing day by day, guys, it's only because I'm yet to find the right fit, okay? When I finally find it again, this time around I'll take the sound clip and save it offline take it out from CapCut and just use it consistently. I just, I miss that old sound bite. I miss it so much. Anyway, sorry. Uh, hi, how's it in the name of Christ? How are you doing? It's your girl, Cranky. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. <laughs> I hope you're stellar and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. Why is summer not ending? Oh goodness, guys, it's supposed to be autumn. I need the weather to cool down. Like, oh, I need the weather to cool down. It's just so, it's so blank. Oh, it's terribly hot. Anyway, whatever. I looky lemon. I whatever. Mmm. Okay, let me just put some captions out there. Kindly note. Mmm. What is it <sighs> about things in the eyes that rock up just when you're ready to do a better thing in life, man? Come on. Uh, caveats. Let me put them out there. Kindly look out for my captions. They they're not accurate. They're not always accurate. They sometimes use a small G for God. Sometimes they're not there at all. And I'm like busy talking in English. Hello. Oh, goodness. And then, and then sometimes they use a small G for God if it's not all camps locked in a fairy river. Frank, basically what I'm trying to get at is that danger khafar ngozi. Look out for the captions. Look out for them. One day's one day. God willing. I'm very tired as you can see. I'm exhausted. I'm drained. I'm out of it. Um, I'm not okay. But really, whatever. You know what I feel like I'm like. Ish, let me just get to the end of my caveats. I'm also... <laughs> very potentially mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, very potentially wearing application makeup if i am you will know because it's bouncing up and down on my face booyah okay and then uh so i'm not i'm not shape shifting oh and then i have like a segment oh guys like i'm just so tired i'm 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 drained nah but you know what mm -mm, i'm sleeping i'm bush I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm only human. I pinch my cheeks. I'm trying to blush them, but like it takes so long to finish the whole blushing process. So that you can see that I'm only human. I'm only human. Blah, blah, blah. And if you prick me, I bleed a booyah. You see, I didn't achieve the blush today, did I? Hmm, I did. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, that is to show you that I'm human. All right, stop hitting me. If you hit me, I'll probably be like, ugh. I react. That's what I'm getting at. Mm. 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 Yeah, ish, guys. You know what I feel like right now. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. CapCut is killing me. It's just killing me. My sound bite. My sound bite. Oh. oh. I need my sound bite back, but I can't get my sound bite back. Can I? Is it possible? No, it is not. They've gotten rid of it. And that, oh, you know, when you rely on internet sources, oh, internet resources, you will die. Anyway, whatever. Look, that's not even the point here. So, some time ago, I watched this show on Netflix called The Days. The Days. I don't want to sing, yo, I almost did. I am done singing. These are the days that I've been missing. Da 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 Ooh, that had to happen. Someone. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, I apologize. Why am I apologizing? Cause my hair, <laughs> my hair's nasty. Look, it's like obviously growing. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <gasps> My brain is in another world. It's on another planet. It's chilling on top of Antarctica. Did I say Antarctica? I wanted to say Mount Everest. Anyway, the days. These are the days that I've been... We're not singing. The, 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 the show, the, the days. The one on Netflix. Yeah. It's about the Fukushima nuclear disaster. I watched it the other day. It's like, maybe like, some time ago, like a month, a month and a half. Okay, it's like finished now. I'm done watching it. And, and, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Mm -mm. 
that just that had to happen. Like, Wah. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, look, I have a tear. I'm crying. I'm crying. What is that? Is that so? Oh, sunscreen. Mm. It's a hair from where though? From the top up here. From my coily tendrils. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. I'm sorry. The Days. Yeah, that movie, The Days. It wasn't. It's not a movie. It's a multi-part series, a limited series on Netflix. It it, it is detailing the Fukushima nuclear disaster thing. Ne? Mm, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear station. That whole thing that happened there. And you know how they still are trying to like decommission anyway whatever yeah well these couple past couple of days that i've been uploading the way that i've been uploading the shorts i've been uploading the many of them a day this work that i'm doing it's not sustainable i'm drained is it not sustainable though is it not sustainable i don't know like i'm getting so fast at doing it that today i finished in the afternoon guys instead of in the early evening <laughs> So maybe it is sustainable, I don't know. I might just reduce the number of shorts I'm doing. But like, with this work that I'm doing, and I'm also currently in a fast, and it's a fast that just is ongoing. I, I haven't stopped fasting. Even though I was supposed to stop at the end of February. Oh, whatever. <sighs> okay. God keeps giving me visions of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear story thing on some that's what you're in right now like if you watch that fukushima show like the people they're in it's based on a true story okay the people they're in like they were just all up in that like nuclear station and they nearly died and they couldn't leave because the, 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 the they couldn't cool the nuclear reactor they couldn't cool it because there was no electricity because of the tsunami the earthquake blah blah you know and then and then like throughout the show you'd be thinking people be are gonna die like if you don't have the history if you don't know what happened which i didn't know before i watched that show you you would think of it like lots of people are gonna die lots of, lots of people are gonna die <sighs> so many people you're thinking oh there's gonna be a bomb a nuclear bomb because the show starts with these empty houses and you think oh they got bombed or they got nuclear radiationed they got radiation poisoned oh it could be radiationed i think matters uh... <sighs> mm, nothing matters i see dead people just like that kid in the sixth sense Ah! okay guys whatever mm. and then and then remember guys in the fukushima like movie show oh well essentially the real life story okay they sleep like in the in the station for five seconds and then they wake up again and then they go back like proper for days they just didn't sleep they didn't rest they were like at work like all the time because mm. who sleeps when there's like a nuclear reactor about to explode messing with all of japan well lots of it including uh seoul is not in japan that's in south korea hong kong including hong kong boo like just the center there hey like booyah oh guys is it hong kong mm -mm. it's hong kong and yo guys yo now please don't come at me i dropped geography in grade nine so please don't come at a sister but like basically like the the, the the main like city center joint hong kong hong kong is in china guys isn't it ah yo god help me why why is on the margins why why is on the margins why am i lying i can't even use my phone to discover the hong kong is it hong kong mm -hmm. it's like saying johannesburg is in nigeria just because it's in africa <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to be ignorant. Uh, Izzy, I have a problem. My 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 phone is giving me problems. The other one down there is like, Ugh. so because it's giving me problems. Guys, I don't have decorum. Please leave me alone. Because it's giving me all of these problems, right? I can't just like rely on the Wi-Fi there to figure out where in the world is Hong Kong. 
but like basically the capital was nearly dead or something whatever please go check out the fukushima nuclear daiichi thing those guys never slept for the all the days you know when people don't sleep they pass away it's not like i'm not sleeping i'm trying but like i just go right back to the drawing board immediately i am producing so much content and it's like oh oh i'm good uh -huh. um i'm coughing dust when i go <gasps> out comes dust because i've been working like a dog in that like look at me now and as a result i'm also being attacked by witches by witches they're like uh, uh, yeah girl blom yo that's like it but dude i you don't know me you don't know me but that's the thing about the kingdom of darkness they don't care that they don't know you and the they do that every day they like 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 the sprinkler on on the garden there that goes pouring water all over the, the grass they come and they like pouring spells on your girl so i'm just it's just a combination right now i'm suffering from a combination combination of yeah mm. And, uh, but like, I'm not dying from radiation poisoning because I'm, I'm the steering. Look, guys, I'm just trying to help you guys understand that I'm tired. I'm very exhausted. I, I, I'm here, you know, because I'm just recording videos because that's <sighs> what I do. Recording videos is what I do. But like, people are coming against that work. It's, you know what, guys, here in the deal. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. I've been saying it. You're in quicksand. Sinking, sinking, sinking. <laughs> You're in quicksand. You're in quicksand, you guys. That's you. Yo, guys, like all day, every day. Like you're full of threads. Wouldn't you be scared if you saw that in the middle of the night? Hmm? You're going to the fridge to get ice cream, and then as you open the fridge, you see <laughs> somebody doing that. It's scary. They're actually choking and dying. But like, you don't want to see that in your refrigerator, drawn in the smoke, the puffy cold steam that comes out of the fridge when you open it. You see like a face coming out of something. <laughs> like it but that's the kingdom of darkness for you like as they'll put you in the movie final destination gankani gankan gankani guys like by force you you'll be out here chilling thinking you escaped death and then they're like <laughs> yeah it's hot <coughs> they made me cough dust again i'm tired my heart is like, i keep dreaming about them <laughs> doing that <laughs> according to god they're hilarious <laughs> some of them look like that <laughs> Because they have to pull on, put on like, uh, you know, um, macabre face, um, macabre face, like foreboding face, like scary face, right? But like chill face, chill, but scared, scary, but chill. Uh. So it's the foreboding face and it comes with a burp. It's like, <laughs> Imagine seeing that as you're going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's not funny, it's just so scary. It's just so scary. It's like, guys, of course, it's scary. It's scary to people that don't know Jesus. But the thing is, they like scaring people that do know Jesus. So they like wasting time. Guys, if you are going to do a magic trick, do it in front of people that don't know magic. Mm. 
We do it in front of novices of magic. Complete strangers to magic. Yeah. But don't do a magic trick in front of another magician. They just go look at you like... <laughs> yeah. Um, witches. Your stunt work, all of these like things you throw in the room. You're doing them in front of people that have got a power bigger than yours you know and you rock up in refrigerators at night near the ice cream tub and you're like <laughs> oh god i will get tired because i just wanted ice cream all i wanted was ice cream i just wanted ice cream that's it like proper it's okay i'll go back to bed without my ice cream i'll go back to bed without my ice cream mm -hmm. i will I'll totally go back to bed without my ice cream because at this point, you have just fattened my face because you have insisted on making me eat ice cream at 3 a.m. in the morning because I'm still awake making war with your demons. And somebody gotta eat, you know what I mean? Girl gotta eat, you know what I'm saying? Girl gotta eat when she's hungry, so she's gonna eat. But like, at this point, when you keep on being like, near the top of ice cream, you gonna make me lose some weight. You gonna make me lose some weight. I'm gonna pass up on the ice cream. Cause it's really boring to keep on happening upon your spells. Crashing into them. Crashing into them like it's a car accident. I'm not doing it. Crashing into them like it's the wedding singers. <laughs> We're not doing this anymore. I'm very exhausted anyway. Mm. So that's just like the story of my life and I'm very tired and um, Fukushima nuclear disaster. <laughs> it did not last long though, like it was not... Oh, eventually, you know, they, yeah, oh, eventually, mm, 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 totally, absolutely, yeah, eventually. Mm -hmm. When are you gonna stop? Eventually, they conquer. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, Japan does not just die all of it. <laughs> oh, duh, duh, guys, duh. Yeah, he's so lame, lame. Your witchcraft ends up looking lame, lame, lame. But you don't really know that. In the run up to you like no sister kill a booty boy i'm drained i'm bushed i'm tired i'm going through much too much i'm dealing with too much at the same time but it's okay i'm exhausted no more facial expressions from you guys we're just not doing this, like, all of you are <sighs> All of your murder, you? Mm -mm. <sighs> Who likes looking like that, like, all day? Yeah, it's like it, but... Hmm? I mean, when people bump into you at the mall, you be looking cute and normal, innocent, with a size 4 shoe. Cause you that petite chick. Hey Bachung. Nobody underestimates you. Nobody looks at you like you ain't Jack. Nobody looks at you like you're a little devil worshipper. Cause where have you ever seen a devil worshipper with a size 4 shoe? But nah, nah. Even since the girl petite, she is so incredibly innocent looking. Eh! At night, she's like... <laughs> Against her friends. Ah, oh, girl. What? What about I said Kakusa size 4? How are you gonna get involved in witchcraft when you wear such a small shoe? Like, what? Mm -mm -mm. I need you know. I need to understand. Uh uh, guys. You can't keep doing this to people. Hey, Batum. Anyway, whatever. You appear to be choosing hell. And there's really nothing we can do here. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing we can do here. There's nothing we can do about the fact that you get them with big feet and small feet in the occult. Tiny little quaint fingers. 
and big hands. Burovor's hands. Doesn't matter what they look like. Eh, because they need them in all different shapes and sizes. I guess it makes sense because if you think about the kingdom of heaven, the devil is always trying to copy God, right? He's always trying to be like God. <laughs> He's not really God. He's a lost cause. Anyway, whatever. But God says that in the kingdom of heaven, eventually when we go home, we are going to be a multitude of kindreds from all different kinds of nations. We are going to be a people from different cloths. And we are going to be a people with different tongues, etc. So, it makes sense that the devil would also recruit the chick with the size 4 shoe. He needs them small, looking like little gnomes outside of your house. You know those, uh, is it, is it, um, is it? Ceramic gnomes or gargoyles. Those tiny little ones. Just chilling there looking like one of the seven dwarfs of Snow White. Outside of a house on some... Ooh. And with that facial expression, there's like water coming out. It's like a water feature gnome outside of your house. He needs them that small. And then there's also these giant, tall, like basketball player size occult practitioners. They need them all sizes because sometimes you need the quaint little old lady. Mm, she's so sweet. But you also need the giant that you gotta run away from, just like in the Kingdom of Heaven. You've got big men, chunky, strong. And we've got these tiny little gnome-like sized human beings that are almost dwarfish also too. So it makes sense that the Kingdom of Darkness would also have some chicks out there operating with a size 4 shoe. It's, it makes sense. It makes sense. Makes sense you guys. It does. It does. It does. Because the devil needs to deceive and he can't deceive if all he has are big men. Because they can be scary. He needs cute little dainty sweet looking looking girls after all he is um in the business of um uh being a masquerading angel of light even though he's just darkness darkness all day every day yeah he needs you with all different kinds of shapes but i'm tired of seeing these little tiny shoed randos in my dreams and also the big fat chunky basketball player size ones i'm tired of all of you all of you, I'm tired of seeing the goggles. Like Papa, you is a granny at this point. You should be like, okay, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Maybe I should think about Christ. Ah, but she's still casting spells. Yeah. If you're that foolish at 78, girl, I can't do nothing for you. Can't. Ain't nobody doing jack for you at this point. But you also get them running laps around the Christian church because they're teenagers. So, I mean, you know, you're all different sizes. That's why Karab was so tired. Because, frankly, I'm not going to be like warring with some giant basketball player sized guy with his like petite little size four wearing girlfriend. Bonnie and Clyde and the occult. All up in my girl. Uh -huh. I don't have time for both of you. Big and small. So I'm just gonna hide behind Jesus. And he's then gonna bum all of y'all in one sitting. Cause he ain't scared of you when you giant like a basketball player. Or when you petite with that size 4 shoe despite being 27. Ah, uh -uh. no more. Mm -mm. I'm exhausted with your antics. You look good. Do you understand? Sometimes. But sometimes you look obviously like witches. And seeing as we can't tell the difference, I'm just gonna hide behind Jesus, okay? I'm tired, I'm exhausted. All of this witchcraft, like, season and desist, like, what? Mm -hmm. There's like, uh. oh, and uh, leave me alone. I had to burp. There's like a dead spell operating right now, too. Hey, she has, guys, why do you want me dead, guys? I mean, am I not the most lovable person out there? <laughs> Am I not just so lovable? Lovable, lovable. Hmm. So why you want me there? Why you want me there? Why? I'm so lovable. But that's just the thing. The devil wants us lovable, so we can be made grimacing, menacing, and grotesque. He takes that which is lovely and makes it not so lovely. So it really go on to you, girl. I'm gonna end up with you now. I don't care. Like, I don't care anyway. I don't care anymore. I mean, it's not like I have ever cared. Okay, maybe I did at some point care, but the past couple of years I haven't been caring. But despite the fact that I stopped even caring. That, 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 that. That should have given me peace, but despite it all, it didn't. It appears to go to Nicola Monk faster. 
Mo posto, mo posto, oh ho, 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 ho. Guys, I'm not doing this. I don't even have anything to say other than the fact that I'm not going anywhere, okay? Unless the Lord will take me somewhere, okay? So keep getting in a cockpit and fighting me and see how far you get. Do what you want. Do it. Because that's the whole of your law. <laughs> How you gonna make yourself so ugly for what? For what? <sighs> for what? Let's well, it's a nonsense and jealousy and witchcraft. And I don't like that. But it doesn't appear to matter that I don't like it. No. No. Did you go? Did you see boy? Did you go? That's what you do to people. Frankenstein is what you've made here. It's not a real thing. It's not cute. It's not pretty. It's a botched job. It's a caricature of what something was supposed to be. Yeah, that's your witch card. Frankenstein. It's fine. Oh my god, I can't deal with this. <laughs> Your witchcraft is Frankenstein. Mm, because you were trying to make like a man, a human being. And then you did something so menacing looking. Like, oh, yo, how did you think that you're going to keep on coming for your families and be okay in the end? How? Ah! Mm Like Papa, I don't care about y'all anymore. I used to. No, I don't. I used to love you. I don't now. I'm kidding. Actually, no, I don't really. The witch. By the way, I can't believe it. I've been saying it. But I always get it correct. But the Lord will fix me. I'm exhausted. What I'm just trying to put out there right now is that I'm tired of bumping into ugly faces in the refrigerator when I'm trying to get ice cream at 3 a.m. You and the things that go bump in the night, you've made me work like the nuclear team at the Fukushima site. Mm? I'm not sleeping, constantly uploading content shorts. And then I unfreeze. And then I unfreeze. Like on and off, on and off, like some hazards. Hulukile, Kinema Darkness. Someone do Lanko Baiskobo. And keep watching Karabo conquer the living daylights out of you. Okay? Go and grab some popcorn. Girl, do that. Someone like Dangdi slash puppy. Mmm. Linky boogeling. Keep doing that, girls. Boys, I implore you, Hamban. Hamban. Mmm. So long be lintele loya and angaral and about zwaiti. Go on, keep on bewitching each other like you ain't got no mama, no daddy, no grandmama. Like you ain't never seen what an auntie looks like. Like do you girl? Do you boy? Hmm? Someone do bang South Africa a fair. Throw it away, guys. Throw it away. Toss it in the sea. Toss it in the sea. Mmm. Do that. Go and toss it in the sea. And see what happens to you eventually. Huh? 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 Even though the Lord has given you eyes to see. Eh? He's showing you that your country is being destroyed by your rubbish. But you're still carrying on. Why are you so obsessed with some Christians in these streets? Don't you think you're going to the healing? Eh? You're gonna wake up, cadaver, R.I.P. Mortuary vibes. Go to healing. Mm-hmm. But I've been saying it for a minute. Mm-hmm. But like Jesus Christ is Lord, it's like so obvious. Anyway, whatever. Like Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima. That's where I'm at. I'm out here wiping all your dust off. Hey, zombies, zombies. It's a zombie apocalypse. I walk around with zombies every day. I'm tired. What am I gonna eat for dinner? Ish. I'm exhausted. You know. 
this thing is so cooling eventually eventually but like so 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 hot which is uh it's just, guys like what it's supposed to be autumn like why why yesterday it rained for like five seconds and i was like why five why five why why not 10 why not 20 say why not an hour oh oh it cooled down ever so briefly and now it's back to being hot again wait a king uh, uh, no mm -mm, mm -mm. king it's global warming whatever like the creation's groaning mm -hmm. creation's groaning creation is like i'm supposed to be in autumn i'm just gonna boil you because look at these guys with their menacing <laughs> At 3 a.m. in the morning in the refrigerator next to the ice cream. Uh-uh. Enough is enough. So now I'm hot. Like, Papa, I am being subjugated to the tyranny of all of this weather because all of y'all won't repent. You busy with your magic wands. <laughs> no guys it's all right like proper all right it's like oh mm -mm, no more except apparently more eh, eh. perilous times two timothy three last days people are lovers of themselves lovers of money post forever so, and then on top of that top of that top of that right like top of that top of that y'all <laughs> Oh, <laughs> deny. Hey, I keep getting dreams of my former friends, y'all. Hey, as he get here. Hey, what girl? Hey. Guys, now I'm right. Yes, well, I'm good with you. Like, <laughs> sharp. I'm good. Yeah, I'm looking sharp. Okay. <laughs> and then they, they gaslight you. I keep getting dreams of my former friends. Passing me shade, giving me attitude, however, restored to me in my life, constantly denying that they did what they did to me. <laughs> you gonna go up your witch room and walk out and like literally get a whole decade of her life this way abu ya nibe impint hug each other go on your boogie lit by skull and then deny that you disenfranchised a woman for a decade <laughs> that's the thing that i got problems with with the kingdom of darkness the stuff you're involved in is so dingy that you can never confess. You hold on to it and so in holding on to your lives you will lose them. Okay? You can never confess and then you subjugate your victims to the tyranny of feeling crazy that they even suspected you. That's like, that, that, I'm tired with you guys, eh? <laughs> I'm done. And I'm finished though. Look at what you've made a sister do. How in the world is this not witchcraft? Now come on, let's keep it real though. Hmm? How in the world is this not sorcery? Look at the number of shorts that I upload every day. In a week, the amount of content I put out. Look at the quality of the work that I also put out. So it's not just like quantity, it's also high quality. I work like a dog and yet I'm going nowhere. Yet my content is not flying off the shelves like hotcakes. I apologize. People want to hear what I got to say. But you, ah, chilling on my chest. Aye, right, guys. Uh, you know, this is not even about being scared of you. Mm. It's about handling you. It's about the fact that God is going to make it so obvious that you are satanic, prolific, dastardly beasts. He's going to make it so obvious. So obvious because of the way Le Suti Leng Kasadane Moto Oling so good at what she does that you're gonna look like the Sataning and all over the show. You literally cannot expect to be the only ones getting me sebezi. You cannot expect to be the only ones getting the tendara. 
You can't expect to be the only ones whose businesses are thriving. Only ones that are marrying right. Only ones raising some children. You literally do not expect, despite being painfully average, succeeding. You, you can't expect that. You, you can't expect that. Guys, like, you, you proper can't. As debilitatingly mediocre as you are. And yet, strangely, you're the only one that's thriving in the ecosystem. Slap bang in the center of the normal distribution are all of your achievements the way they're so median time. And yet you're the only one thriving. Mediocre rando. The fact that Karaba doesn't have a job while you have one is your demise. You're being exposed because I'm unemployed. It doesn't make sense, don't you see? You went and grabbed a person chilling on the far extreme of the normal distribution the way she's just so ingenious. And you made sure she can't make a single rand in these streets. She can't do anything. Yo, you literally made it look like a freaking ominous horror movie. You made it look like witchcraft. Like, that's what I'm getting at. You made it look like witchcraft. You did. You made it obvious that La Loya let that way. Because how is the country being kept together with sticky tape by all of you substandard, absolutely painfully average folk while you're gifted are either leaving in the diaspora or they're chilling at the backs of their mother's houses in a shack, <laughs> gathering dust going nowhere while you collect all the salaries of the country or random median distribution rando you. You're in the center of the normal distribution. You're just flat average. And yet, you're getting all that you need. I'm just saying, you look like witches. It's that basic. I'm just saying, my strangely stagnated channel on YouTube looks like your sorcery. When I was say that a size full, Udawe, people are gonna bust you. Because why at the heaven? Runamo Are we seeing the footprint that size full all over my YouTube channel? It's because you've been tiptoeing around my channel. Ungzong lawyer, what parasites for you? Only this quaint little petite girl mm, that no one would suspect of any wrongdoing. Marautlie, when you're the only one archer in these streets getting anything done. Urguen, and because your shoe is so small, you get yourself busted. Because <coughs> your feet at the grind scene, girl. Kasa is for. Croc. I mean, who wears size 4 Crocs? You know those ugly shoes, the Crocs? Study nice. Everybody's wearing them. They famous say among Gen Z's. I get hello, Khan. Maria size 4, Yona. You would think that Crocs are like an old, like a, a one size fits all shoe, eh? The way that it's just so round and square and oblong at the same time. And yet they, they prosper to make one size 4 because yeah, how it's all sat down. Your size 4 Crocs gonna expose you, girl, because the footprints of your size 4 petite shoe are all over my ministry. Mmm. Let's say we're loyal. Loyal na uga loyal habu tuko hagan na ulere hagan. Sing as habu habu banga ata mo mostrating but to over the age of 12. Ba barang size 4. Mara wena ke o Crocs hao i busy footprint ka all over my ministry. Loyal si wadi cherry cherry ki e we fitile. Cherry as yet a so sing yani fitile. Ava expect a reaba lomo bank on sapiri siet a so sing yani. Maranguena only one or bank set a so sing yani so girl. So of yas quena. I'm exhausted. Get a text like Hmm. I don't know what you know, you know. Oh, you Mmm. Can I sacrifice of those red heifers? What's up, my nice rapture, rapture? Let the rapture happen. Cause all you do is make me babble. I'm sick and tired of dealing with all of y'all occult practitioners. Like this is obvious, Rogibuloi. Clearly, how you gonna make a sister work so hard, going nowhere? Eh, eh, eh. Killing seeds, they got it bunga lidi zoape. It's clear. Now roam these streets rolling around them like a donut and some chocolate proper in contriteness. Do beta, do beta, do beta. If you don't want to do beta, you don't gotta. But bottom line is, this looks like witchcraft. Nyan Shaza, you wanted me to walk away from my ministry. I instead increased the amount of work that I do. Now I'm drained, feeling like Fukushima, right? Type setup thing, nuclear disaster. It's not sustainable. God knows though that this is not sustainable, this amount of work, like that's what's good. But like, he's got a plan and a purpose for why he's making me work like this. Overdrive, overdrive, overdrive. It's to display that you almost exploded on all of South Africa, which is, and if God did not intervene, literally the whole country would die. 
I told you, you're an extinction level event. It's a crisis. La senya, litubisa batumate kwana basabaantle. You cause people drug addictions, you cause people alcohol addictions, you cause people gambling addictions, you cause people to lose their minds. You cannot be kept aloft anywhere you're sitting. Y'all need to be uprooted from wherever you are sitting. The chair that you are seated on needs to be pushed off a cliff because you need to be neutralized. You cannot continue with this crazy thing you're doing and expect to be all right. You greedy dastardly beasts, comprehend this. You can't just grab whatever woman in the streets you want with Corobella and expect that God is going to be content with you ultimately seeing as you're an occult beast killing her and then acting like you did not just sacrifice her remains for a ritual money thing understand that when you walk like that you're gonna be exsanguinated like it's just not gonna continue to be a thing again been saying it but you don't want to stop how how in the world when you cast your first spell on your baby sister to go nowhere and she then struggled to enter into varsity she then struggled to get her first job once she had her first job she then struggled to keep it when then she started using drugs because she doesn't understand why her life is falling apart you then can't understand why now she's a junkie like here in lies this woman that was so bright eyed and bushy tailed now she's like a junkie without a job because you cast spells on your baby sister when you keep doing that how in the world did you think that god is not gonna come for you with a flying kick hmm? when also your little sister ends up passing away from a drug overdose how in the world under heaven did you not think that you would basically live the rest of your life like lady macbeth mm. out here with the blood of the king on your daggone hands and you're unable to wash it off until you ultimately commit suicide because you've got blood guilt how did you not anticipate that would be the end of your life witches how did you not stop when you realized that I cast a spell on my sister to go nowhere and now she's bashing her head against all different kinds of walls and this makes me feel sad. Why didn't you get sad when your spells started working? Why didn't you get sad when your sister that was hard working, studying in university suddenly dropped out because you did a spell? Why didn't that break your heart? What the heck? You have no hearts. Why didn't it hurt when your best friend suddenly lost a job? despite being so hardworking, This is the question that I have for you witches, eh? When I lost my job, and then my whole family turned on me, and then the whole world claimed I was crazy, and then I was unemployed for a minute, and I had to start a YouTube channel to just basically speak about my pains as I'm being persecuted as a Christian, why didn't that freaking break your hearts? Nah, you, li you literally, you cast spells on me to go nowhere, to lose everything. When then, some bogus charges were spurred up against me in my employment. And then I found myself suspended, just at the point of suspension, never mind actually getting dismissed altogether. Why on that day, you random beastly buffoon, did you not feel like trash? Why didn't that make you feel trashy? What the heck is going on in your hearts? Why have you no guilt? Why were you not uncomfortable? Because herein lies the deal, right? Evidence of the fact that you had no guilt is the fact that you just kept on trying. You literally kept pushing me off the precipice to fall off. When I started a YouTube channel to lament about my challenges, you decided to close that too shut those doors and now today i got a whole bunch of you actively throwing death spells on me because i'm so embarrassing why didn't it break your heart on the day i got suspended without cause from my job you know you did it why didn't that make you be like snap this stuff is nasty i can't i feel like trash and then stop i mean you don't have to come and apologize you don't have to restore my job to me just stop just the fact that things happen after you do spells that should make you feel like trash but you do not stop you feel like it's a necessary evil and you continue and you continue and then you add insult to injuries and what's worse is that you make the lives of your victims even more terrible because you treat them like trash because you know what you did to them it's almost as if you feel you it's like if at all you treat them like trash it validates that they are trash so you're mean to the person you cost the life of that's what i've experienced at the hands of witches they became mean to me because they disenfranchised me and then they became meaner still because i found out yeah that's what's good yeah why didn't you feel guilty the very moment your best friend took a whole bunch of pills and ended up in hospital having had her stomach pumped because she tried to commit suicide why didn't that make you freaking stop why why when there was still some kind of salvageability did you not stop at the point of me getting dismissed despite being completely innocent all you freaks that cast spells against my career my prospects you should have stopped 
because look at what this has done this is how it gets affected i didn't want her to lose her career i just wanted her to be a little bit you know stumbled in her endeavors professionally so i mean when she loses a job no that's not what i was planning for when you saw that your witchcraft got to the point of actually costing me a job never mind costing me a promotion in the job when that was the result unintended consequences why at that stage did you not freaking stop why and then you relieve your stupid guilt because it leads to death by constantly going to church by fasting by praying by giving to charity doing all of these things without realizing that obedience is better than sacrifice you're a whole flagrant satanist do you understand that's what you are when you do witchcraft you're a satanist like call a spade a spade but you're in the church these people praise me with their lips but their hearts are far from me you do all of these rituals and then you relieve your guilt with charity work you're gonna say to jesus christ on that last day lord lord have i not prophesied in your name and in your name did many mighty miracles and in your name cast out demon demons and jesus will say to you depart from me work of iniquity i never knew you it's you guys that relieve your guilt and sorcery not with repentance but with acts of altruism with acts of goodwill with acts of religion but you don't actually stop bewitching because at the end of the day it was a necessary evil it hurts it's uncomfortable i didn't expect garaba would lose her entire career but i can't have her be restored it's like you tell yourself that she was too taxing to be in my environment and i did not want her to succeed if i repent if i desist from what i'm doing she might be restored so it's not like you want kind of a restoration you have guilt cheeky you do you've got guilt but you don't want kind of a restoration because at the end of the day you are still filthily jealous of her you're deathly jealous of her so rather than repent that she might be restored recovered brought back to sense you just carry on with your sorcery however supplementing it with religious activity goodbye cheeky give me a, a post-it note letting me know what it's like to burn for eternity where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth and the smoke of your torment rises up forever i'd like to know except you don't have to write me a post-it note from hell because hell is going to be a spectacle like a whole show like a whole tourist destination for kingdom of heaven citizens one day we're going to watch you burning and be like oh that used to be jabu mm, that's what you get for also gleefully gloating over your victims oh garawa used to be so great she used to have a wonderful career she was destined for big things she was gonna marry the best guy in the streets but then i decided that i'm gonna stop it all you were gleefully watching me fall and now we're gonna gleefully for all of eternity watch you burn yo i'm not making that up it's in the scriptures go read it go look it up i think it's in the book of isaiah we are gonna look on as they burn where it is that the smoke of their torment does not rise what is this um rises up forever the, their worm does not die Mm. in the old testament somewhere it is clearly stipulated that in eternity we're going to look on if we want to it's not like it's going to be a, a place that we can just that we're always just uh, <clears throat> privy to like always just looking at it from our terraces or whatever from our mansions no i believe it's a place that we can travel to just to basically gaze upon dying bodies those who are dying as again dead evidencing grandchild just the exquisite depth of justice that dwells inside an incorruptible body it's so final and complete that we don't even wince at watching people burn for eternity right now it might be very tiresome for us to observe such a thing as that it might be emotionally exhausting but the day's gonna come when we've got this perfect justice in our bones because we have been made like jesus that looking at you burn is not gonna cause anything in us to bat an eyelid we're not gonna wince we're not gonna be like ooh, how sad it is that she's burning forever it's just gonna be like oh they had it coming because why in the world did you think that you could mix christianity with this filth of yours why so if you don't want to find yourself in that terrible place having thought you were a christian having mocked the living daylight out of the body of christ and having gleefully gloated over the sorrow of your victims as usatani that you are you will repent truly Yimbel. you will walk away from the thing that you are presently doing you will overcome your jealousy you will put to death the deeds of your stupid body by the holy spirit that filth dark green dingy jealousy that you feel towards a woman to a point of watching her suffer at your hands and telling yourself that rather than her be restored you would much rather give to charity unless you overcome that trash you can forget about entering the kingdom of heaven your filthy thoughts and intentions that are evil continually have no place in the kingdom of heaven your deathly and 
towards your friends and family members that make you bewitch them into oblivion honey they ain't got no place in the kingdom of heaven and no matter how much you might want to play christianity in front of a god that sees everything so you're mocking him you are not going to enter in when you're that deathly wicked and also mocking god because like i said you've got all that christian activity i'm done speaking here i'm not gonna have a second part these days i'm very tired I'm working at a nuclear site where there's been a zombie apocalypse in my country and I'm trying to contain it but like we don't know how far we're gonna get all I know is that I'm exhausted but I keep coming here daily because after all if you're gonna be burning for all of eternity however having thought you're going to heaven you need me to come here every day then don't you I'm signing out in Christ's name Cran K. bye